Hey everyone, welcome back to Stream Cheese and Applesauce where today we're doing another Lego haul and I have a really, really large haul to share with you. It's um, a mixture of uh, stuff just from various places. So um, I'm gonna start off by saying I just got back from Brick Universe Plano, that is in Texas in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So um, the first couple things I'm gonna show you is some stuff that I received free from various raffles and build challenges and just goodie bag stuff in general from Brick Universe. So um, the first thing is this Lego Friends poly bag. It's um, actually the same poly bag that I got in the goodie bag from Brick Fest or Philly Brick Fest. Um, I got this in my goodie bag at Brick Universe. Um, in addition to that, there was a baggie of loose parts, and it looks like it's from a Lego Friends set. It's the one where it's the, um, the little pop, pop star music recording something or another. It's just got some Lego Friends stuff. It's got the, uh, the printed music tile. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there you go. There's a tile of that. So, some random amount of parts. Um, I think these were really meant for people to maybe trade them, um, but no one really did. They just kind of just took them and ran. Um, let's see, what's next? I got a Lego Technic set, and you may hear something in there. Um, this was actually from a build challenge. So this has already been opened and built, or mostly built, disassembled. So. What this was, it was a speed build challenge. There was, I think, eight teams of two people. And um, I was more or less the last one to, to jump in. And um, one of the parents from one of the other kids that was there building needed a teammate. So I jumped on that team. And um, it was really pretty much just me building. Um, the parent admittedly said that she didn't know really how to build Technic and wasn't familiar with the pieces. Um, and then there was the, so we we came in second. We came in second. It was basically me and uh, the other lady. She did good. I gave her, I ripped out a portion of the instructions and uh, she kind of got confused with a little bit, but it still helped the, the little bit that she built because once, um, once I got to that portion, I caught up to her and we were able to just to snap it in to the, the portion of the model that I was at. Um, and then she did the tedious strapping together of all the all those treads. So I mean, there, there was definitely a, a team effort, but we came in second to to two people that were extremely good builders. So um, I kind of call that a win, and uh, she let me keep the set. Everyone got to keep the set that they built. That was kind of the participation prize, and there was a grand prize for the winning team. I don't even know what it was. But um, let's see, I have one more thing somewhere around here that I also got from Rick Universe. Where'd it go? What the what? Huh. Well, I, I actually have, oh, it's under all this. Got it. Um, this is not it. I had two more things. The Lego Adventure Book number three. There's a three on there. Um, I actually have one of these. I have number two, I believe. Yes, I have number two. I can see it right back there. So uh, this was a, a raffle prize that I won. They had a mixture of Lego sets and books that they were giving away in their raffles. So I got this book. It's a pretty cool little book. It's a mixture of uh, storytelling and then there's some inspiration and design instruction ideas in all these books. So they're they're pretty good books. So. That's cool. I'll look through that. And then this is another prize that I won in a raffle. Lego Star Wars Jedi Scout, Jedi Scout Fighter. Um, it's from the Yoda Chronicles, one of the Cartoon Network TV series for Star Wars. So I don't watch those. I don't really care for them. I wouldn't have bought this set um, otherwise. So I may just build it and then just immediately part it out and use the parts for other creations of mine. 
So that was cool. They actually had um, most everything they were raffling was, uh, I guess, donated from the Lego group, and it was damaged boxes and um, stuff that they more or less couldn't sell because it was in such bad shape. The Lego on the inside is just fine, but you know, like I said, they 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 figured let's just donate it to these these shows that are help promoting the Lego brand and um, it'll just be prizes for them. So the box, the box, I don't know if you could really tell, but it's kind of, it's kind of dented in pretty good there. But most of the sets that they were giving away at the raffle, I have already purchased, but there were a few that um, I had my eyes on and kind of fingers crossed, hoping that I would get them. I didn't, um, but that's okay. You know, I got plenty of free Lego from the show so that was really cool so um, I, I will be doing a video also showing um, my updated Lego City from the show and then I may do a little bit of a recap of some of the stuff that I saw there also so let's get into um, stuff that I actually purchased so first thing I'm gonna start off with is a Lego store purchase I went there today um, because I wanted to pick up these sets that they were clearancing out. Um, I didn't get too many, I only got four of them and I got them just for the parts. It is the Lego Mixels Palladium set. This is from Series 7, it's the last series that was out. Series 8 is out now. Um, but I got this for those teeth tiles. So I picked, like I said, I picked up four, they're all the same. They had another one, the, the Busto. You can see it, that blue one right in the middle. Busto has two of those teeth tiles. Um, and that's the, the only other one that, from these nine that come out in series seven, that's the only other one that has those teeth tiles and uh, Palladium has four of them. And I like the dark blay and the brown colors in this figure anyway, so I figured for basically $10 I get, um, let's see, math, about 280 pieces. So that's, you know, less than five cents a piece. So it's a good deal. Um, I'm just gonna, I, I still have the original one that I bought a couple couple months ago that I need to build. I'm, I'm slowly getting through building, getting caught up on all my Mixels. So I believe I'm in series four right now. So I still have five, six, and seven to build. So pick that up. That's cool. Like that. All right, so next I have a few boxes from Lego Shop at Home that um, we're gonna go ahead and open now. So I actually will place two orders um, if I would have waited, I could have just placed one and I should have waited, but I didn't know that these items were going to go on sale and they actually went on sale at different times. So this is the first one that I picked up. It's the Lego Speed Champions Ford F-150 Raptor and Ford Model A Hot Rod Set. So they had this 20% off. Um, I went ahead and picked it up at Shop at Home because I didn't know if my local Lego store was running the same clearance at their store because sometimes the stores don't jive with what's online. So I went ahead and just ordered that straight off of the shop at home. But I believe it was two days before that I placed another shop at home order. And there was also some clearance items. We have this Chevy Camaro Drag Race from Speed Champions. And we have the um, Porsche 919 Hybrid and 917K Pit Lane set. Also Speed Champions. These were both 20% off. And the cool thing about it was I met the qualifying purchase to get another one of these. So, more free Lego, that's awesome. 
and did I use VIP points? I think I used VIP points on one of these, so I even got more of a discount. So that was cool. We got two more. We got a couple of Amazon. So as you know, Amazon does 20% off items fairly often. This was one of them. It's the um, the smallest Lego Technic set from the 2016 wave. It is the uh, Display Team Jet set. So that will be a quick little 10 minute build, if even that long, maybe five minutes to build that. So going, going on with that completionist theory of getting all the, the Lego Technic sets. Last one, Amazon. Thanks for sticking around through this haul. And this is um, a Lego Ninjago set. It is the Sky Shark. So this is uh, from the first wave of Lego Ninjago of 2016, which are just now starting to go on sale um, at Amazon.com. So I picked this one up, 20% off. Maybe I think it's maybe 21% or 23%. It was a weird number, not an even 20%. Um, so, grab that before it uh, went back down to normal price. So, that's cool. I'm a, I'm a fan of Ninjago. If it wasn't for Technic, I think Ninjago would be my favorite Lego theme. So, I'm always excited about these. And I think after, after Ninjago, I really dig the Speed Champions. I like the fact that they model these based on real cars and while the proportions are kind of narrower, um, they still do a really good job of representing the models. So that's it for this haul, pretty big haul like I said earlier. Um, I've got a mixture of uh, free stuff from Brick Universe, got some clearance stuff from Lego Shop at Home, Lego Shop at Home orders with more free stuff and of course 20 percent plus sale off of amazon so thanks for watching check out my other videos make sure to subscribe tell me what you want to see built first um, i'm ready to uh get back to building now that i'm back from brick universe got a you know kind of got those building juices flowing again so i can't wait to get some more stuff built from the lego sets as well as creating some more mocks for my next show so i've got uh i've got some stuff planned it may not be city related it may be i have i've i've got some ideas it's it's always good going to these shows because you you get exposed to different types of mocks and different types of building techniques and you know when i come back from them i want to try to replicate some of that so some of that is city related and some of it is not, but I, I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is yet. I want to kind of make that a surprise. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.